This is the Astralis Overpass B Pistol Round against Vitality and Groomhack Winner Masters Tournament. They're going to be going out all five monsters here, but a delayed take. So they're going to wait out the Molly at 135. Two smokes are going to come over for Short and Heaven. And Glaive is going to flash Dildo twice to let his teammates scale out. And they're going to take Graffiti Control to play the after plan. They successfully get their trades, get Graffiti Control. Glaive plants the bomb, Wild Device holds the short smoke push. Bomb has been planted. There are no spawns in the strat because it is a delayed monster take. But there is dedicated rolls. So the first entry is Device, he's going to cross over to the right side. And he's going to hide on the right side until his team is ready to make the play. And around 135, his teams are going to throw the smokes. He's going to not cross this wood until Glaive's first flash. And he's swinging out the left side of Dildo. And the second person come over, and his team and him are going to fight graffiti together. He stays in the pit area. And he's going to hold short in case someone runs through the smoke as Glaive. The second dedicated entry rule is going to be to pre. He's going to be right behind device the entirety of his time. He also jumps to the right side, hides on the right side until his team is ready to exec at 135. Like Device, he also hides behind the wood until the first flash comes. And he's also swinging on the left side and scaling towards Graffiti to trade. He takes the to trade here and stays with Matrisk and Graffiti for the after plan. The third entry rule is Majisk. He is going to be going in third. He also follows Device and Dupree onto the right side, jumping. He hides on the right side until 135 when his teammates with the smokes. And when Glaive throws a support flashes Dildo, his first two teammates run left. He actually runs right to kill the pit or toxic player and he is fighting towards graffiti with his teammates taking graffiti control for the after plan. He gets the gun to case Serato and hides in his graffiti. Bomb has been planted. Glaive has the role of the support player or the nades in this pistol strat. He goes early to line up the heaven smoke. He and Zipex both throw his smokes at around 136. He then sets up instantly for the two dildo flashes, the first one to allow his teammates to cross wood, and the second one as they're fighting left and right dildo. He then goes out and plants the bomb because Zipex dies. He then sets up for the after plant. The fast heaven smoke is lined up as follows. There's the first checkpoint in this corner above that second wooden plank. He then moves forward until he hits that left wall. This is the second checkpoint above the wooden plank. He then run throws. He releases when his left side of the screen just about hits that blue door. The lineup for the dildo flash is right to the left of the white tower. He runs throws two of these. The last roll is Zipix. His role is also to support with a short smoke that he lines up as follows. In this strat, Astralis actually wanted him to throw a toxic molly as you can see, he pulls it out. But his teammates perhaps get some info and decide to tell him not to do it. He instead molotovs graffiti to help take control of that area for his teammates. Dice to heart, but gets traded. One thing to look at is the timings of this strat. At the beginning, they all cross over to the monster right side, the first three entries, while Pix and Glade line up their smokes. 
He smokes are thrown at 136. That is also when the three entries start to inch towards the monster entrance area. They near wood, and the first flash comes over is when they crash, and the second flash comes right after for them to fight the BCTs.